Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Drew Biggers, and welcome back to Mini Motorways. So, in today's episode of Mini Motorways, as we talked about before, we're gonna go for Munich. Now, the most important thing when we play Munich here is just that we now have played quite a lot of these episodes, and I feel like it's also at this point that we slowly have to start develop our own new form of meta and the reason that this is so important is simply just because of the fact that well i need to show the world what i can do in this game soon we've we haven't really done that yet we have we had a pretty good attempt i think it was beijing where we got like 2039 travels but it's still not high enough good thing is though that you guys have provided with a bunch of comments so please keep on doing that and if you haven't done it already and you're new to the channel and you enjoy this kind of content hopefully you won't regret it and it's gonna make me very happy if you do it besides that we just got ourselves a new collar here just gonna shorten that trip just a little bit and i'm thinking what we're gonna go for here today is try to combine some of the stuff that we've learned because we first of all learned that yes roundabouts is a very good thing next up we also learned that to some extent as much as we can try to keep all of these routes as simple as possible so rather than using this road for both colors let's just keep these colors separated for as long as we can one of you guys also provided me with a pretty pretty good advice to not over flood these shops with housings unless we needed it because it's gonna limit the amount of cars that we have on the road at any time and i gotta be honest that is a pretty good idea so i'm thinking that we're gonna try that as well and then another tip that i got and i'm just you know i'm bashing them all out there but we'll just try to complete them on the go well that is the fact that instead of adding something like a highway straight onto a junction well then we should try to combine it in a better way something like adding a bit of road and then into a roundabout or into a traffic light in order to create a more nice flow so that is also something we're gonna try today rather than just plunking a highway straight onto a junction like here for example if you want these red cars to go nope then we'll try to build like a road here at a roundabout at the highway to the roundabout and then go that way about it now we have a situation here where we're slowly starting to get new housings down here i'm not too stressed about using our road pieces just yet so i'm gonna hook that one up to there but these shops i mean we have three shops connected like this so that one is definitely not gonna be too easy to keep separated for long and at the moment we can get another roundabout so i think we're just gonna go for that one and here's yet another blue shop. Good thing that we have yet another bridge as well. Oh god, the housings are just popping up all of these random places. I'm thinking if you might connect that house to there, then... What was that road? I want this. Then I think I can already tell now that we need some restructuring here at some point because these blues right here are not looking too good. Right, and there it is, our first motorway. We're just going to save all those motorways for now. The more we can get, the better, because it's really just a lifesaver later on. I feel like we've, we've learned that the hard way at least a couple of times, and the new color just blonged up as well. We're going to combine that there. What I'm thinking is that we have 31 road pieces at the moment. We kind of ran out of bridges, which I am a bit sad about because I think what we could try to do is just simply reroute the blue house to go all the way around here and then if we reroute the red houses to go around here then we could actually get the color separation going again for these i think right and yet another color just checked in so we can actually get another bridge now at the moment though i'm just gonna pause here now because honestly let's try to see if we can do this so if we delete this bridge then we reroute that bridge to over here oh no that's not good we just need this bridge to go away and we can't have that bridge go away before all of these blue cars come back so i'm hoping that this one down here doesn't uh, go bad before we get to do this please hurry up oh god okay good there goes the bridge so now if we want to run a road through here then we connect this right there okay then we grab these two houses and connect those onto this connecting road right there then we want ourselves this one gone and we want a road up here and there we are right so you know we're actually gonna cut the corner because that's just gonna save us a little bit of travel time and actually you know what we can save even more travel time by sending the blue cast this way and then we can create a junction up here for the purple houses at least for now right so that is one area fixed then what we can do we have 14 road pieces at the moment let's just get rid of this so the purple ones have to go down here we just got immediately four houses we actually don't need four houses connected so i'm just gonna leave this one unconnected for now and we're just gonna run with these three then what we can do we can do a bit of restructuring over here as well by the red cars if we just go ahead and do this and then we delete that bring this one in here and then I think we can get rid of this road as well because that's not connected up there anymore. And then we can bring another road down here and just reroute those. And then if we bring these all the way over here, we can just get them around the red shop here. Because then 
all of the red houses are only connected to here. We have six houses connected at the moment, so I'm just going to disconnect one. I think five should be enough to supply these. And then these cars are going to go up here. They're going to have a small intersection with the blue housings right there. But there is not much that we can really do about that. I think the best we can really do is just disconnect this and have these two houses supplied to this one because that should be enough. And then at the moment, we still have 100% color separation or almost 100% because these pink houses and the blue ones are going together at the moment and that's okay. We could actually maybe create a double row here just so that we don't have an intersection down here. So it's only going to be up there. Right. Let's try this. I, I, I mean, I think we're doing pretty good here. We're learning. It's oh God, no. So here's now when we need all of that extra bit of road. How do we how do we get out of this one the best? Wait. OK, yeah, no, that's not going to work. So we need some road from somewhere. Now is when we then start just doing all that we can. Darn it to cut away these pieces. We're really not doing too good on that right now, though. I don't think we need these two pieces. So that just brought us all that closer. Now, the question is, if we delete this and then connect these houses there, then we have enough road pieces, at least for now. We can actually also get a connection down there. Right. So let's start out by trying this. And I now see that this one just upgraded to the XL Burger Shop Deluxe. So we're just going to connect the red house here that we didn't have connected before. And this one, let's just remove this one for now. So it doesn't create interference with all of this. And let's see what we get. Oh, this is the tough choice, though, because we can either get 30 row tiles or a motorway and 10 row tiles. I'm going to go for the motorway because I feel like we have a pretty nice theme or a schematic laid out here at the moment. Also, all of the blue cast down here are seeming to do all right with this one. We want to watch out that if we get to here, I I'm almost honestly close to laying down a highway or some sort, but for now, I think we're doing good. And I, I want to save out two motorways for as long as possible. And also just now realize something. We can actually delete this entire section and then we can just connect this closer, remove that. And then we got ourselves another white house over here. And in order to save some road tiles, I'm just going to run that through there for now. Connect this to there. And then they can use that thing as a passing route that shouldn't cause us any issues, but I'm actually not sure about it. So let's just see how this goes. We're managing at the moment, and that is the most important. There's another pink house. We got plenty of those. I do believe we can actually disconnect one of them. Oh, man, I, I don't know if we're doing the right thing here, but I really do believe that we can disconnect some of these housings without getting too much trouble for it. Okay, it's the end of the week, and let's see what it brings us. It brings us yet another motorway. Let's go for that one, right? And then yet another white one also connected up there. So this is actually perfect at the moment. We do, however, want to just keep track of how many white houses we have so that this don't run out. The placement of these are quite annoying at the moment. I could cut this off, actually. Like, just to some extent, determine where the white houses are going to pop up by putting down our roundabout so we don't need down here. And I'm seeing that we get quite a lot of red houses up here all of a sudden. I can't really connect any of these right now. But the amount that we have connected here are actually supplying quite a right to these two bits down here. Oh, here's another pink house. Well, let's just go for the easy way and just connect that there. So the pink houses are all kind of just on their own little route up here. So I'm not too mad that they all... Oh my god, yet another motorway. I still feel like we need it later on because it's going to be our lifesaver. So while this does take up a lot of road pieces or we, we don't really get a lot of road pieces to connect, then I'm not too mad about it just now. We did get yet another white one, but I'm not going to connect that one just yet because I only think we need how many is this even seven. I think seven should be enough to supply this up here. That one is getting a bit scary, but we just got yet another blue house. So I'm praying. But now, though. I think we're starting to see trouble now the main reason that i think we have some issues here is because of the fact that the second red one just upgraded i don't want to place around about there that was my bad and well we have a lot of red houses over here but a lot of them are also not really connected because we're having issues connecting them because of this uh okay so an easy fix would be if we just get rid of this bit of road and then we just extend this out just a little bit and then instead we run this down here and then my god these houses really laid down some annoying places we just ran out of road tiles there we go we just got them back again we can connect all of these houses now this intersection right there is gonna be so full of red houses red cars rather should i say the easy fix to this would be to see if we could get another bridge and just make yet another road over here but i don't know if we would be better off oh god we just had a white house there we can't really use that for anything Right, so there we are. I think we're going to go ahead and just grab 30 road tiles now. Well, I do not quite know because we just got yet another new shop up here. That road is going to create an intersection with the pink houses up here. So maybe it is time that we bunk down a new roundabout here and just connect this. And then we connect that down there and this to there because then we'll have a small intersection with the pink 
and the purple cast. But I also feel like we should be all right. Right? So the big issue at the moment is the fact that we're now getting a new group of White Houses down here. The good news is that we have a bunch of White Houses connected down here already. So while they have to supply three shops, I'm pretty confident that they can still do so. And if they cannot, well, then one, we're in big trouble. Second, we can always connect the highway down here. So we're just going to keep this slot open for a motorway down and then we'll be fine. I think at the moment my biggest concern is this blue one over here. I'm unsure about how many houses exactly we need in order to feed this one the amount that it needs to not go this high. Oh my god, we're getting a lot of white houses down here. So we have an entire neighborhood of white houses down here now. And honestly, I don't want this connected just yet, so I'm just going to remove the connection from that. I feel like the game is trying to tell me something here, but I'm not really sure what it's telling me. Okay, let's just observe for a few more seconds here before we do anything else. This one is still getting a fit a high amount of blue cast, but my god it's also demanding a lot of cars to come in and we just got another pink one over here okay so i think it's time for us to create our first highway and the main reason i just want to do this is because we're getting so many pink housings over here now i don't necessarily want to do anything about the pink housings but i would really just love it if we could get as much traffic off of their line as possible so that they could bring all of the traffic over that they would potentially need and one way of doing so is by disconnecting all of the white cars trying to get there my main concern is just that we can't really get a nice roundabout up here anywhere without it just being partially in the way for some traffic but since what we have over here right now is just a random pink house well okay i'm just gonna do something now so we're gonna just drag all road all the way from around from here to there then we're gonna connect that there then we're gonna draw this one out from here you know what, then we might as well just create the roundabout here. Good. Then we just grab one bit of road, put that there. Then we'll grab, we'll turn around all of these and just... So if you put the first highway down here and we connect that to there, beautiful. Then the highway is no longer straight on connected to the road up here, creating a huge cluster. But instead we have a roundabout and hopefully this roundabout will only partially be disturbed by all of the pink cars going to this one and not all of the traffic right here. And that should, if all things go well, function nicely. We also do have to remember that we still have three roundabouts, so, or three highways. And here's yet another pink shop. Now, that was kind of what I was expecting was going to happen. And I think we can actually take some load off of the blue line, meaning that we can get more traffic this way. So, I think we'll just jump straight into our second highway here. Maybe just let the timer run so we have some more road pieces. But as soon as we get access to those road pieces, we're going to create another highway. We can get a bridge together with 20 road pieces or a roundabout together with 20 road pieces i'm gonna go for the bridge and there we are so if we just pause this now we're out of roundabouts at the moment we have one here now the real question is is this even necessary once i've done the changes that i want to do so we're just gonna leave it as is for now and then we're gonna do this build a road right here which i'm then gonna throw a highway on that is actually, instead of going that way, going to take traffic down here, right on. So then we can connect that there. And then we can connect this house to here. And instead of having these all connected there, well, then we just need, I think we need that one there as well. But instead of connecting those there, we're going to connect these to this highway right on. So that's how we're going to do it. So then we have one, two, three, four, five, six houses connected to these two. Should be enough meaning that we can remove this and the blues should have straight access to this one, meaning that this one won't fill up as much anymore. Let's just see if this works. All right, so while this one just got a bit close, it's it's also running down now. It's not as critical as it was before anymore. And that's a good thing. I'm also hearing so many new houses be plunked down. I have no idea where they are. I cannot see once they start. Oh, there's one. No, I think that one has been there the entire time. We also got a red house down here. We got a white house up there. Could potentially help. I'm not going to put it in there just yet. And this is just a red line at the moment. And it's not really flooding or leaking in anywhere. Oh, and here's another blue one. So we can just add that to there. I just heard another new house, I think. Didn't I? Uh, it could be a blue one. I don't think we need it at the moment, though. I still just really want to keep an eye out for this one over here. I feel like the demand for cars is just massive over there. But I don't get why, because we got so many blue houses connected to that thing. This one down here is still a bit critical, but it also looks like it's getting some more houses from here. Maybe we could just add one of these to this, and then hopefully, hopefully that'll work. It's definitely the pink ones being a bit a bit of an issue right now. With the amount of blue housings over here, I'm really tempted to just at least just create a temporary highway here. There. That should help bring this down. If I recall, we can always delete it again. If we cannot, then I don't think it's the end of the world to connect that. Um, 
One more highway or yet another roundabout. Let's go for a roundabout. We haven't had that in quite some time now. And if I can get myself a roundabout, I am going to get myself a roundabout. Okay, we got a lot of trouble up here. We got no white cars coming in. We have a huge neighborhood down here, though. Why are you not driving up there? I think they are experiencing some experiencing some traffic issues, my, mm, just maybe. So what we could do to help to help all of these shops up here, actually, is just to take... Bam! Another roundabout. And if we put that there, just delete this. That one runs into there. That one goes there. And then up here, I'm just going to extend that out. And then we're just going to take one of these houses for now. I don't want all of the cars going up there, but I'm just going to put that road there. Put our next highway right there and connect it all the way up to there. Right on. So hopefully those white cars will now start driving this way. And some of that traffic will get up there faster and help all of these. Because we really, really have some issues here right now. Please go. Drive. White cars. Go, 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 go. We're in a hurry at the moment. No, 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 no. This is not going to end already. Why are we not getting more cars up there? You connect to that one as well. You connect to that one as well. Please drive. Please drive. What am I missing here? Uh, pause. Pretty much all of the white houses are actually an issue right now. Um, right. So I gave you a highway, which you clearly didn't appreciate. How do I make you appreciate this highway? What if I connect it to here instead? Like that, and then we grab this road and bring it up like that? Will that save us some time at least? Oh my god, I don't see any traffic coming in over here at all, so this is gonna be the end of us already. 1335 commuters. I'm not too happy about that result. I am, however, pretty confident that once we get to Zurich here, we can do it way better because now we can start using tunnels as well. 